Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be talking about functions. Now, the first thing you should know is Dart is a object-oriented programming language that is class-based, meaning we use classes to make programs, but we're not forced to use them. We can use functions, and functions works just as well as classes do. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a function right now. This is a very basic function right here, named hello. We have the function name. Next to the function name, I have this open and close parentheses. Then I hit space, I have this open curly brace underneath it. I hit return, I typed in return, sorry. I hit space, and I have uh, embedded in a single quote, world. Then I ended it with a semicolon. Then I finished it off with a closed curly brace. Now, this is a hello function that returns the value of world. Now, here, as you can see, we don't have a return type. The return type has been omitted. By default, Dart assigns a return type of dynamic if one is omitted. If you don't enter or if you don't give it a return type, it's going to be dynamic by default. Now, how do we give it a default? How do we give it a return type? I'll show you guys how to do it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use string. Now, the return type is a string. So this is going to return a value of world. Now we can shorten this up because this is a lot of typing to do for no reason. So I'm going to show you that right now. Now this whole thing can just be shortened into one line. This whole function here has just been shortened to this one line here. We still have the hello. We still have the open and close parentheses. But I hit space. I use the equal sign. Next to the equal sign I have this arrow. I hit space again. Embedded. In single quotes, I have the word world. Then I ended it with a semicolon. Now, what? there's no need to type all this up here when this is, does the exact same thing. Now, we can add parameters to this function. I'll show you how to do that right now. We can add the parameters inside the parentheses here. So I'll just type in, embedded in uh, single quotes, I'll type in the word, the word world. Now we just added a parameter. Again, this uh, this is not given a return type. We can by default it, the return type is going to be dynamic if we don't give one. We can add a return type in here. I'll just add string. Hit space. Now the return type is string. Now we can have multiple parameters. We can have more than one parameter. I'm going to show you guys an example of that right now. Here we go. I have the hello. This is the function name. And I have the open and close parentheses, and embedded in the parentheses is the parameters. Here is my first parameter, which is just like called MSG. We use the comma, the hit space. Now I have another parameter, which is TO2. Now we hit space. We have this equal sign with this arrow. Hit space again. Type in MSG. Hit space. Type plus. Hit space. Use a single quote. Hit space, type in FOR, hit space again, use another single quote, hit space, use plus, hit space again, type in TO, ending. Now that's a lot to type. We can shorten this up too. I'll show you, I'll show you how to shorten this up right now. Hit enter, and all this can be shortened to just this right here. We kept uh, hello. We have an open and closed parentheses. We have two parameters, MSG and TO. We hit space. We have an equal sign with an arrow pointed to the right. Then we have space. Now, just embedded in one single, uh, just embedded in one single parentheses. Right, we use the dollar sign, open braces, and in between two open braces we have MSG. Then we hit space. Then we have FOR, we hit space again, use the dollar symbol, use the open and closed, per, uh, closed curly braces. And in between there, open and closed curly braces, we have the two. Then we, we close clo another single quotation, and we're ending it off with a semicolon again. This version here looks a lot cleaner. Instead of using the, all these uh, pluses here, it looks a lot better. That's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Now, if you guys have any comments, leave me comments. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.